Hey everybody, so we are so excited this weekend. One of the nation's largest RV shows is here in St. Louis. And of course, since we live just a few minutes away, we had to come down, check everything out, check out the Airstreams, we're really excited. One of the coolest things I'm excited to do is show you guys a couple of different things that I think are almost as cool as an Airstream that might work if an Airstream is either out of your budget or you're looking for something different. So let's go check out some different things. So first up today, we have this awesome van for any of you interested in potentially exploring a little bit more about van life, hashtag van life. It's got some really cool features that I haven't seen on other vans. It's got on-demand four-wheel drive with off-roading tires. It is on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, and we've been told that it can get about 17 miles to the gallon, which is pretty good for a traveling RV situation. So let's take a look inside. Ow! <laughs> this is a Winnebago. It maximizes the storage pretty well, I feel like. It's got this awesome little seat here, which I'm assuming folds down into something. Some overhead compartments. So this fan pretty much has it all. It's got a wet bath here. Currently used to the door. Plenty of storage overhead to the side, and you've got your bed with an awesome way to have a good view outside. Air conditioner with a heat strip overhead, lots of lighting, and of course your kitchen here with your refrigerator down low, some drawers, sink, induction cooktop. Next up on our favorite finds that are almost as cool as an Airstream, we have the Wonder Van by Leisure Travel. This is a Canadian company who makes these awesome luxurious travel vans. We've been eyeing up some of their videos on YouTube and having a little bit of van envy. It's a rear twin bed that actually converts into a full bed in the back. We'll show you how to do that. It has tons of storage, tons of seating up here. Look at how awesome and big this refrigerator is. And it comes in this beautiful color. It's on a Ford chassis, it's diesel, so it gets about 17 to 19 miles a gallon. But I'm gonna show you a little bit about it, things that I love. So up front you've got your kitchen area, you've got your galley, your sink, two burner propane stove, tons of storage. And of course, a nice pull out drawer here. TV that can be moved, overhead storage, big fridge, convection microwave, lots going on. Let's show you the bedroom in the back. Back here we've got two nice sized twin beds. They do have storage underneath of them. So you've got your two beds here, but they do convert if you want. Into one big shared space. King size bed. It's got a split bathroom floor plan so you've got your toilet and your sink on this side. And a nice big shower on the other side with a huge skylight as well. One of the coolest things about the rear twin in the new 2019 Wonder is this huge storage compartment in the back. It's got this awesome pull-up tray. Plenty big enough for your bikes, any other camping gear that you've got. And if you're like us and you're pack rats and you take a bunch of stuff with you, this is something that you're going to need. It also has a generator, an outdoor shower, and some additional outdoor storage as well, and a powered awning. Now we're in front of an awesome tab. You guys have probably seen and heard a lot about these little teardrop campers. Very excited to see one in person. This is our first time checking it out. It does have a bath inside, a kitchen, a fold down dinette that turns into a bed. It's under 2,000 pounds in gross weight and it's just over 11 feet long. So it's the perfect little camper if you're looking for something that still has a kitchen and a bathroom, but you don't have a lot of space or you don't want something with a lot of length. So let's look. Even though this thing is small, it does pack a lot of punch into a tiny, tiny space. This is a huge dinette, could probably easily fit four to five people around it. It does fold down to a king size bed. 
You've got storage back here overhead and behind here as well. TV and your, what's this called? And your air conditioner and a fantastic fan as well. And now I'm gonna show you the kitchen. The kitchen is tiny, but it has everything you need for travel. You've got your sink here, some storage underneath, a Norcold refrigerator, some storage underneath of that, and a two burner propane stove, some storage up here, radio, and over here is your little wet bath. The coolest thing about these tabs, I think, is that this model comes with a wet bath as well, which is really nice for such a small thing that's only about 11 feet long. This isn't exactly a travel trailer or a camper, and it doesn't have a kitchen in it, but it is still pretty cool. This is the Sylvan... Sylvan. <laughs> Sylvan Sport Go. Sylvan Sport. I'm, I'm like that guy and that wife when they're making yeah. the video. <laughs> it's right. You should see some of the outtakes of our video. Okay. <laughs> this is the Sylvan Sport Go. It is dubbed the coolest camper ever. And it basically sits on a frame that attaches to a trailer that has all kinds of accessories and things you can add to it. It's just a glorified tent, but it is pretty cool. So let's take a look. This tent is pretty spacious. It does still have a pretty big dining room table plenty of windows and natural light. These compartments zip down to be more windows as well. This can fold down to be one big king size bed. Everything folds up into this awesome roof compartment. And then if you want, you can use the bottom part of the trailer for storage. And I'm going to show you what it looks like all folded up in just a second. This is what the coolest camper ever looks like folded up. It has this awesome cargo trailer underneath of it so you can still put all your camping supplies, totes, bikes laying down on their sides, anything you're going to be using while you're on your trip. If you want, you can raise it up even higher and haul on motorcycles and bikes standing up as well. Of course, you can attach your rack on the top. As you can see, they've got a kayak on this one. It's kind of a good all-around little camper, better than having a tent, a little bit more durable, and pretty easy to set up.